I changed distro and given that it only happens every couple of years, I actually wanted to quickly talk about where I went from where uh, I was coming and why did I choose what I choose. So currently I am in KD Neon and you might say, but KD Neon is based on Ubuntu and you say you were leaving Ubuntu and yes, I'm leaving the mainline Ubuntu that was built in this computer when I bought it because this is a Linux machine. And it does change something. First of all, it changes the desktop environment, which is a pretty big deal. Ubuntu out of the box, the default one has GNOME on it. And uh, GNOME is actually what I use for, I think almost uh, five, six months, so a lot. And you might rightfully ask, well, what brought you back to KDE really? And uh, I've already talked about this, but very quickly it's because uh, KDE works better for me in general, but also all the new features that were in Plasma 5.25 has just convinced me that KDE should be the project to use for my personal productivity stuff like uh, gestures, which I'm also able to show. However, the old Ubuntu, even though I had KDE on it, had some issues. Issue number one, it, it was a mess. <laughs> It was a mess and it was my fault, uh, partially. Because out of the box, as an example, OBS um, does support uh, recording the screen in Wayland, given that you have a pipe wire. I didn't Ubuntu by default, but back then at least, that version hadn't pipe, pipe wire by default, it had uh, pulse audio. So I tried uh, to switch to pipe wire manually and it was a disaster. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but uh, I'm still grateful that I didn't completely break my machine. That's how bad it went. So I just couldn't record on Wayland, which I now am able to do because KD Neon does come with uh, pipe or out of the box or whatever it is that makes it work. But OBS does record on Wayland out of the box without any change. So thank you so much for that. And that was the worst thing. Secondly, 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 uh, the desktop, the KD desktop that I had, KD Plasma, was not actually packaged. Uh, it was built from source by me. Everything, all of the KD applications, uh, the KD, KD Plasma as the shell, everything was built from source by me. And this is because I'm a KD developer, so I develop with KD Plasma and I need to make changes to try those out. The issue is that uh, master KD Plasma is unstable, obviously, because it's master. You shouldn't stay on master for your like personal productivity side of things, unless you're ready w w to live with the consequences, which in general I am, but I really needed something more stable. So I wanted to use KDE. I still want to develop for KDE because that's very important to me, but, but, I also want to have a sta stable desktop when I'm not developing. And KD Neon does meet that in a very nice way because you do have the latest packages. In my case, I even choose like the user version of KD Neon as if I didn't have to develop just uh, to have the latest packages, but not too much. I, I don't want to be it as tough, just stable. But at the same time, it's very easy still to build everything um, from source. It's not as easy as could be because some of the packages in um, KD Neon are very outdated because they rely on Ubuntu LTS. And I understand that, but it actually caused some, I lost some hours because of that, <laughs> trying to debug what was going on. So, but nonetheless, uh, it's really easy to actually build everything and you still have the stable KD experience. I could have went for literally anything else, like ranging from Minjaro, which I do not recommend anymore. They've done too many mistakes. I'll talk about them specifically, but also, I don't know, Fedora is very nice uh, looking. And, but I used KD Neon for so many years that when I just decided to go with it, I really felt home and uh, it is very nice to use a product that is directly by KD as a KD developer. So, I switched from Ubuntu GNOME to KDE Neon 
And you know what, that, that's it. I, I don't need to make 10 minutes of video just to bore you. This is what I did, this is the reasons. So what, like, do you agree? Because I, I'm not sure I did the right thing. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm still asking you. Uh, keeping in mind that I keep getting on for at least a couple of years because I don't usually distro hope, but I can try out new distros in a little partition at the end of my SSDs. So if you have anything very specific that maybe I don't know about to recommend, as an example, I've seen uh, Crystal Linux. Uh, it's a very interesting project, I think. So I was considering actually giving a, a, it a look. So if you have anything to recommend, go for it. But this as a quick update, uh, this is it, Th that's the video. Cut, cut, stop.